good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we are back with an update we have an update for you guys on the mattel wwe crowdfunder if you guys remember back last year we had the big crowdfunding project right we've seen this from hasbro we've seen this from a lot of different companies over the years where it is a, a big crowdfunding project where a bunch of people get together the most hardcore passionate fans get together all contribute a little bit of money to work towards a bigger project a larger scale project that probably isn't fit for a retail space that is what we did last year and we backed the new gen arena we had the big arena we had the new authentic scale ring we got a few ultimate additions thrown in there they ended up having to add to the pot and we ended up all coming together i think it was like uh, almost 8500 units or something like that well we have an update on it we have updates on the packaging we have updates on the figures we have a great look at what we're going to be seeing and i guarantee we're going to see even better images and better stuff in the next couple days because you guys know that tomorrow is the big reveal day not that we won't have any news today this is just starting off your morning trying to get you right today we could have more reveals by the end of the night if they end up showing us something tonight i may go ahead and upload a news video tonight on new wwe action figures that we're going to get, be getting from mattel but today man let's dive into these images of the crowdfunder i'm really excited to get into it we got to look at the packaging we got to look at everything going on and let's just start cycling through these images so you guys can see and you guys will notice right off the bat that it comes in this very big box with the block wwe logo on it it's lit up in neon sign you got the mattel logo there i couldn't find this live stream of this video of bill and this guy kind of revealing what we got going on i think this is the package designer at mattel if i'm not mistaken from the wwe wave but as you guys can see you're going to be able to open it up it's got the doink and the diesel ultimate edition in the packaging the macho man is actually going to be sh shipped separately so that i think that's because they threw him in at the end right so we have that we have our authentic scale ring with our ring skirt in there you have the entrance stage with the crowd background with the neon lights i think this looks insane man i cannot wait to get this in my hands and review it we it, apparently it's shipping soon that's what the update is this is shipping soon i would guess in the next couple months may even be faster than that but let's go through these images and break it all down man i cannot wait to get this thing in hand i will do a full crowdfunding set review i'm talking the ring i'm talking the stage i'm talking all the features the figures i think i'm gonna do it in one fail swoop crowdfunder review or if you guys would like to see that broken down into individual reviews and things like that please let me know but i think it could stand alone as a one big long hour long review of everything that we're getting here but the doink figure looks fantastic the diesel figure looks about how you would expect i think a lot of people saying it's very plain jane you get a couple interchangeable hands entrance vest and interchangeable head skull i will agree not the most over the top but i don't really know what else you could get with diesel you know what i'm saying without the ability to interchange a different torso or a different look on the singlet i really don't know what else you could do i think two interchangeable head sculpts is fine you do have your double jointed arms it's a it's an ultimate edition diesel's uh, always been a boring character to me so i mean i don't really know what to say about that except for that's what you get you know it's part of the set i think the doink is incredible the doink figure is amazing i love the cloth jacket interchangeable heads now i'm not a doink the clown fan never been a huge fan of him but this is a really badass figure it's given me it's given me great vibes here i cannot wait to get this in hand and break it all down of course it is very odd that we're getting a doink ultimate edition but here it is it's in the flesh and you guys will also notice that macho man comes in his own shipper packaging here with the ultimate edition logo on it which is really awesome now i did get two of these sets i will be keeping one on ice just for you know a rainy day and plus if you're trying to complete that men on cart ultimate edition set i don't think it's possible without including these three you gotta have these three they're a part of the ultimate edition line i know they're not the main line but i think it counts you know it definitely counts it's just like the sdcc two pack I feel like you gotta have it in your collection if you want that ultimate edition complete set but macho man looks great you get your cloth table cover with your folding table you got the chairs that also come with macho man so macho man comes with the with the announcing set in his packaging so if you do not get it with your deal there you will get it with the macho man and i do believe that there were a few people that did not get the macho man that was not a part of it because you either missed the deadline or you didn't back it fast enough so if you guys missed out on that that is very terrible but in the official crowdfunder set, you get the entrance stage, you get the ring, you get the doink, you get the diesel, and you get the interchangeable ring skirts. If you weren't a part of the early bird special, you do not get the announced set and the macho man. So that's just what it is. But we did get the diesel. We did get the doink. I really am enjoying these figures. The macho man even looks incredible with his cloth jacket. We saw a few images of him back in the day there. But I like how everything is super uniform. If you guys notice on the back of the packaging, it has the 5K backer sign, the 7K backer sign, and the 8K backer 
backers all unlock there, as you guys know. This only hit 8,500 units or just under 8,500. So I imagine the aftermarket for these Ultimate Editions is actually going to be kind of crazy because it is so exclusive and things like that. I hope that everybody that wants it is able to get their hands on it, but I think this should just kind of be a lesson in the future. I mean, obviously, don't ever buy anything you genuinely don't want or have any interest in, but at the same time, sometimes you have to bite the bullet early to be able to get the payoff later. And so I think that's one of these cases. Am I the biggest doink, diesel, new gen, macho? Man fan you'll ever see. I do love Macho Man, don't get me wrong, but I really am not a big Diesel fan. I'm not a big Doink fan. I think the entrance stage is incredible. I love the wooden planks on the ring, and I actually know a guy that has the new gen ring in hand, and he said that it's very near the Wicked Cool Toy scale. It's much bigger than the main event ring from what I have gathered, but I love the wooden planks. I was getting back on point here. Just a, a lesson or reminder that the whole reason I back this thing is because, first of all, I want to support WWE Mattel. I want to review it for you guys and break it all down for you, get a great look at it for the channel, of course, so that anybody who wants a super detailed look can have a look on the channel at this thing, but also because not only am I a collector, but I am I am investing in future projects for Mattel and WWE right here. So I'll probably be backing any crowdfunders in the future just because of the, the collector that I am of WWE and wrestling action figures, so I'll probably be all in no matter what they show us, which is kind of sad, but at the same time, you know, that's the, that's the world we live in right now, and I love it, man. I, I love this even though I'm not even a big new gen guy this looks super awesome and I cannot wait to review it and we are going to do all those things and hopefully this thing will be shipping soon as we will dive into all the things and again this thing's going to be on full display guaranteed at San Diego Comic Con I can finally now that we have we're back in person I can finally update my video package for the news videos I can update my thumbnail backgrounds possibly if they did a really big setup with it things like that so that will be fun to do but I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the new gen arena are you excited for it do you think that they delivered? I know we don't have our hands on it yet, but are you excited about getting your hands on this set? Did you actually buy this set? I do not know what the aftermarket prices are going to be, but I'm enjoying everything we're seeing here. I, I really am. I know that the, you have all your different light functions for the stage. The, the real steel ring here with the wooden planks underneath is super detailed. I'm going to definitely customize mine, I think. I don't think I'm going to keep it as is, you know. It, it's super built up in the WrestleMania or the different, you know, in your house or regular WWE side ring skirt. I'm not going to be doing that. I will definitely be fixing it up in some way or capacity and mixing it together with my rings. I have like 27 rings, man. Between the basic rings and the authentic scale and the AEW and the Wicked Cool Toys, I have 1,200 rings. I don't want any more rings, man. I do not want any rings. That Like, I don't want to see another ring from Mattel, okay? I don't want to see one from AEW either. We have three of those plus the basic ring. I, I'm sick of them. I know they're going to keep coming out. It's just like a point to be made. Any future rings I get, I'm probably going to review and then put away forever. They take up a lot of space, and I just want to fold them up and get them out of my face, unless they're like some special edition or something like that. And I have no space to display them, so it's it's kind of a headache sometimes. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up this news video. I had to put these images up. I had to showcase them to you. I wanted to know what you guys think of the packaging. What do you think of this? Did you crowdfund it? Are you going to be crowdfunding the next thing? I'm hoping the next thing is super epic. I've seen a lot of people say they want to see a real scale Hell in a Cell to go with this ring, or go with like other rings that we've seen in the past. Maybe with a Mankind Ultimate or something like that or maybe I really want to see the Smackdown Fist stage. I don't know how realistic that is and I don't know if they would go back to back entrance stages you know what I mean? So I don't know if that's fully plausible but I would love to see it. I'd also love to see an Elimination Chamber playset like a modern Elimination Chamber maybe with a Ultimate Edition AJ Styles maybe. I don't know I'm just throwing stuff out there maybe with like working lights that can like put the WWE logo on the ring on the ring and, and stuff like that I, I don't know. I, there's plenty of stuff they can do. I just don't know what the next one's going to be. Apparently, they're not revealing it at Comic-Con, unfortunately, so that does, that is kind of bummy. You would think that would be like their big ultimate reveal, but I guess we're going to see Elite Series 100 probably as like their big deal, and then maybe an Ultimate Edition. Some obvious new Ultimate Editions and like big time stuff, but apparently they're going to be revealing the new crowdfunder at a later date, so we'll have to see about that. But that is going to wrap up the news video, man. Again, we got the preview night tonight. Maybe we'll see something epic. We also have a full day of reveals tomorrow, man, so it is finally time to dive and everything, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout out. And this right here is an epic comment from my man Leo Alcorn. This is such a true statement, man. How are we 14 series into the Ultimate Edition line and we still don't have a Seth Rollins or AJ Styles? Come on, Mattel. Had 56 likes, man. I agree with that so much. Like, unbelievable. I hope that Comic Con is the time, man. We gotta see an Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. I really am not like too picky on the attire. I think there's so many 
they could choose from that I, I really don't care as long as we haven't seen it before. And then for AJ Styles, I want to see the same torso they gave the new HBK. That is the torso I want to see. The new fan takeover HBK. Give him that torso and give us some epic tights that he wore. I don't give a shish what era they pick. I want a yelling AJ head. I want a smiling AJ head. I want a determined AJ head with a cloth entrance hoodie with interchangeable gloved accessories. Do not give a shit about the title belt. I want an AJ Styles Ultimate Edition so bad that I could fight somebody. But that's about the end of that. Huge shout out to Leo for that comment. Such a profound comment. We have two fiend ultimates and we still don't have Seth Rollins or AJ Styles. Come on, Brad. You cry.